Hello, and welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is lesson number 78 from the Story Sang in Action book. In a few moments, we're going to be learning about a character who is an orangutan named Orty Orson. But before we go into Orty's story, a little bit of review. Our last character that we learned about was Yakety Yak, who likes to yank yo-yos while he's eating yummy yellow yams. And so we drew some pictures with yakety yak sound. And so here's a picture of a yellow yak. And on my page I wrote, this hairy yak can carry heavy packs. And so I've started to write complete sentences now. And so they start with a capital letter and end with a period. And here's the yellow yo-yo that yakety yak likes to yank. And under the yellow yo-yo I wrote, this yellow yo-yo spins, because yo-yos spin round and round and round and round. Then here's the yummy yellow yam that Yakety Yak likes to eat. And so under the yam, I wrote, this yummy yellow yam tastes good. And then in our last lesson, we also did some labeling in Pig Latin so that we could have a different way to play with sounds. And so we took the consonants off the front of the words, put the consonant on the back, and added a y. And so when we did that to yo-yo, a yo-yo became an oye oye. And when we did that with a yak, he became an akye. And when we changed yarn into pig Latin, it became arnye. And when we changed yam into pig Latin, it became an anye. And so the more you practice playing with and moving those sounds around and connecting the sounds to letters and blending the sounds together, the faster you're gonna be at reading all the books that you want to read. So after we did our drawing lesson, we put some of the words from our drawing into a song. And so this was our song page. So if you have this page with you, you can take and put your finger under the words and we'll sing it together. Yank, yank, went the yellow yo-yo one day. Yank, yank, went yakety yak. Yank, yank, went the yellow yo-yo one day. And the yams were yummy, yum, yum. So once again, let's do that again and point to the words with me. Yank, yank, went the yellow yo-yo one day. Yank, yank, went yakety yak. Yank, yank, went the yellow yo-yo one day. And the yams were yummy, yum, yum. Now you can do your hunting and hide and seek with your words. So look at your page and see if you can find the word yum. Oh, I found yum here and I found it over here. Who can show me the sounds in yum? Y um, and who can tell me the letters to spell yum? Y-U-M. Who can find the word and on your page? Oh, here's the word and. Show me the sounds you hear in and. And. And tell me the letters we use to spell and. A-N-D. Let's find another word. Find the word day. Oh, here's the word day. Show me the sounds you hear in the word day. Day. Can you tell me the letters we use to spell day? D-A-Y. So that's another good game that helps you with learning to recognize words quickly. Our topics that we're going to be talking about today, one of the first topics is an orangutan. And this is a book called How to Babysit an Orangutan. And this is a true story about orangutans in Barneo. And this was written by two ladies, Tara Darling and Kathy Darling, who babysat orangutans there. So you might think, so why does an orangutan need babysitting? Well, these poor baby orangutans had lost their mother. And an orangutan has to be about seven or eight years before they can go out into the jungle and live by themselves. So if they don't have somebody to take care of them, they're not gonna survive. So in this special place, 
People babysit the orangutans and that have lost their mothers until they're seven or eight years old, and then they release them into the wild. And it's got a lot of wonderful stories about orangutans here. And here's some pictures of orangutans. And, the, the, and it's all true information. They also, orangutans are one of the smartest animals on the planet. And so they were able to teach these orangutans the same sign language that deaf people use. People who can't hear have to talk with their hands. And so they taught the orangutans to talk with their hands, just like people who are not able to hear talk with their hands. Another topic that we're going to be talking about in our lesson today are sports. So I want you to think about sports that you like to play. This is a Skybrary book that talks about many different kinds of sports. And here's a basketball player on the front. And here are some girls playing soccer. What are they wearing on their legs? They're both wearing shorts. And so shorts is another of the topics that we're gonna be talking about today. So you can talk with your teacher or your parent about when you like to wear shorts and where do you like to go in your shorts. And our character today is a girl and here's some girls wearing shorts and participating in different types of sports. This girl is participating in rock climbing. So she goes up rocks that are almost straight up and down. And that's a, a sport that's really growing and, and our daughter loves to do rock climbing. Then here are some girls doing soccer, doing basketball. So there are many sports that you can play in shorts. Now, in order to play those sports, you have to go shopping. So here's a Skybrary book about how to spend your money wisely and how to go shopping. So you can read that book about ways to save money and ways to be careful so that you don't run out of your money. And this is a book about clothing and shorts are a type of clothing. And it, so it talks about how you can tell what kind of a job or a sport people are going to play based on the kinds of clothes that they wear. So those are some good books that you can read and talk about to lead into our story today. So I told you that we're going to be learning about Orty Orson. And here I brought with me my Orty Orson. And Orty Orson loves to play all different kinds of sports. And for every sport she plays, she likes to have a clean pair of shorts. So every time she changes sports, what does she do? She changes her shorts. And so in order to do that, she has to shop to get many different kinds of shorts. Well, she lives way out where there aren't any stores nearby. So Artie has to either shop from a catalog that comes in the mail, or she has to use the internet to do her shopping. So she was really excited one day when she went to the mailbox, opened it up, and here was a catalog. And right on the front of the catalog, what were the people wearing? They were wearing shorts. And she got even more excited when she opened up the catalog and guess what she found? There was a pair of sporty orange shorts. Just the kind that she likes to wear. So she thought about the sports she could wear in those orange shorts. She thought, wow, those would be perfect for playing soccer. I could play tennis in those sports. What else could she play? Basketball, she could play soccer, all sorts of different things. So Orty was very excited. And she went over to the telephone and she picked up the telephone. Can you show me telephone like this? And she called up the store and she said, I just got your brand new catalog in the mail and I want to order some shorts. I want you to send me four pairs of the sporty orange shorts that I see in your catalog. And what page number was that on? She says, oh, I see on page 20 that you have these orange shirts. So those are the ones I want. Now remember, how many do I want? I want four pairs of sporty orange shorts. Well, now Ordy was so excited when she was talking on the telephone that she spoke really fast. 
And the person on the other end of the line that she was talking to, instead of hearing her say, I want four pairs of orange shorts, show me four with your fingers, she wanted this many, person accidentally put a zero after the four. Now that doesn't say four. Do you know what that number says? Let's count by tens up to that number. So close both hands, open and close them with me and count after me. Say 10, 20, 30, 40. So this number says 40. And so instead of getting a little tiny box with four pairs of shorts, she got a great big box with what? 40 pairs of sporty orange shorts. Now the shorts were supposed to cost $10 each pair. So she was expecting a pair, a, a bill. Here's our dollar sign. She was expecting a bill for $40. But because they spent set 40 instead of 400, there was not one zero after the four. There were two zeros. Now if you have a four and two zeros, do you know how many that is? $400. So how do you think Orty was feeling now when the store wanted her to send $400? She was feeling really sore at the store. So now Orty looked at that bill, picked up the telephone, and this time, what do you think she said to the store? I only ordered four pairs of shorts, not 10, 20, 30, 40. And I am only going to pay $40 for the four pairs of shorts, and you need to take back all the extras. And so she kind of shook her finger like this, and this is what somebody does when they're ordering someone to do something. Well, the store said, oh, we are so sorry that we made a mistake. You send back the extra shorts, but keep, it, keep an extra four all for yourself with no extra charge. So she didn't get to keep just four pairs of shorts. She got to keep four plus four more. So how many, Actress Annie would like this because you get to add. How many is four plus four more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many pairs of shorts did Ordi Orson get to keep? Eight pairs of shorts. And how many did she have to pay for? Only four pairs of shorts. So she felt kind of silly after that and thought, well, maybe I shouldn't have got so angry at the store after all. Maybe it was better to just talk nice to them because they gave me this, my, didn't charge me the extra money anyway and let me keep extra shorts. So whenever you see our picture of Orty Orson, or you see Orty Orson's OR, I want you to think of ordering. Put one hand on your hip like this, put your index finger out like this and go, OR. Now if we put Orty Orson into apples and bananas, we can figure out whether Orty's sound is a consonant or a vowel. So let's do that. Ready? Are you ordering? Are you ordering? Orty Orson, Orty Orson. Orty's bells are saying, Orty's bells are saying, or, 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 or. So what's our sound for Orty Orson? Or, and how do we spell it? With two letters, an O and an R. Can you say that? O-R. Now in our last lesson, we learned that Yakety Yak likes to eat what? Yummy yellow yams. And so we put foods into apples and bananas, so let's try putting things into the word yam. If we take Orty Orson's or sound and we change the vowel in yam, what's a yam gonna be? Yorm. Can you say that after me? Yorm. Now we can do the same thing with our other vowel sounds. So think of our yam and let's practice our vowel sounds by changing the vowel in yam. Ready? Here's Irving. He goes. Arr! So if Irving eats the yam, what are we going to call it? Say it after me. Yorm. Say that. Yorm. If Ike eats it, what's it going to be? 
Yaim. See if you can say it before me, and if you can't, say it after me. Arnie eats it. It's a yarm, yarm for hanging from the high bar. Lulu eats it, what is it? Yum, yum for wiggling your loose tooth. Here we are rowing our boat home with old Joe Crow. Yom, say that, yom. And here's Uncle Upton up in his umbrella tree. Yum, yum. And that's what Yakety Yak thought the yams were, were yummy, yum, yum. Here's Ichabod itching, yim, yim. Here's Edgar Elf exercising, eh, yim, yim. Here's Woody Woodchuck, where the cookie hits him in the stomach, what does he call a yam? Yum, yum. Here's Eve leaking, leaping, yim, as she goes over her trees. Here's Ollie Ostrich, what does his yam say? Yom, yom. What's Actress Annie say? Adding yam, yam. Owl and Mouse, what's Grouchy Owl's yam say? Yaum, yaum. And what does Abe's Owl say while well, he's skating to the bay? Yame, yame. Now we're back to Irving, what was Irving's? Yerm, yerm. Okay, well let's learn Ordy Orson's song now. So warm up your muscles and show me when you're ready to sing her song. So first of all, an orangutan has these really long arms. So just kind of swing your long arms back. And orangutans are the heaviest animal that lives in trees. So they're really good at climbing in trees and swinging from branch to branch. So swing your arms and sing this. Orty Orson, Orty Orson. Show me ordering. Ordered for new, ordered for new. Now take your hands and, and you can t touch your legs. You can't see my legs, but you can touch your legs where your shorts would stop. Pairs of shorts, sporty shorts. Now we're gonna count by tens all the way up to 40. But the store sent 40. But the store sent for T. Now we need the letters for Orty. O R is for Orty. O R is for Orty. Now she's sore. Now she's sore. Show me the store with the roof up here. At the store. At the store. So let's do that once more and then we'll do it along with our recording. Ready? Orty Orson, Orty Orson, ordered for new, ordered for new. Pairs of shorts, sporty shorts, but the store sent for T, but the store sent for T. O R is for Orty, O R is for Orty, now she's sore at the store. Okay, what's Ordy sound? Or. So here's her song, and let's see if you can do the gestures and sing along with the tape recording. Ready? Okay, so now when you get your paper for Orty Orson, how does she spell her sound? With O-R, so you can rainbow write over the O-R. Turn your page over on the back and think about the things in your life that are kind of like Orty's life. What does Orty like to do? She likes to play sports. Do you like to play sports? If you do, tell me what kind of sports that you like to play. And she likes to wear shorts. Um, even if you don't like to play shorts, you might still enjoy playing 
wearing shorts and doing something else. So when you put on your shorts, where do you like to go and what kinds of things do you like to do when you're wearing a pair of shorts? Um, Ordi ordered things from the store. Do you like to go shopping? If you like to go to stores and you like to shop and buy new things, tell me about what kinds of things you like to buy when you go to the store. Is it the grocery store? Is it food that you buy? Is it clothes that you buy? Is it toys that you buy? If you could go to any kind of store you wanted and buy anything from that store you wanted, what would you buy? Have you ever been upset with somebody and then later thought, well, I shouldn't have really got upset about that? What did Orty get angry or upset about? The store sending her the wrong number of shorts. And then how did she feel later when the store let her keep extra ones and only charged her $40? She felt kind of silly about getting angry. So you might tell me about a time when you got angry and then later decided that was kind of a silly or stupid thing to do. Maybe I shouldn't have got angry. What could I do next time instead? And a lot of people say, use your words. And that's what Ordi should have done instead of getting upset at the store. So I hope you enjoyed our story about Ordi Orson today. And in our next lesson, we're going to get to read some words for Ordi Orson. And if we have time, we'll even get to play with some more Pig Latin with those words. So I hope to see you for our next lesson.